<laughs> Hello and welcome to your very first OpenGL tutorial and these tutorials are going to be teaching you OpenGL and here's um here let, let me tell you something real fast you cannot be following these tutorials unless you know your windowing system because I will be using the um, windows.h system and I don't know if you're going to be using GLUT the Linux system or Mac but you better know how to use a windowing system because I will not be covering that. I will be covering OpenGL, not the windowing system. Mm. I got some tea with me. Anyways, so um, we're going to use code blocks as our IDE. And first thing we want to do is, well, let's create a new project. And the good thing about code blocks versus C, uh, Visual C++ so when you want to create a new project it will ask you what type of project now some of these will ask you where the libraries are if you click on OpenGL it will already include everything you need to know okay you can skip this page next time project title let's just do um, practice next finish that's not good and you're going to notice that it's going to populate the code for us um, see I has a main dot C now what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna copy okay so you can press um, control X to basically cut and we're going to get rid of this um, is modified no um, we're going to create a new file and it's going to be because um, the other main file was a C file I want to make a C++ it's just personal preference I'm going to name this main. Um, okay, it's going basically just do that and then yeah, main. There we go. Finish. And then you're going um, paste right here. And then you're going to see, okay, now it's a CPP file, it's a C file. Okay, and the reason I done that is just because we're learning C. C is good and all, but it's a little C++ and C are basically the same. C++ has more features, but it's backwards compatible with C. Okay, so um, you're going to see that it generates a lot of code. And I don't expect you to know any of this code yet. That's why I'm here. We're going to be modifying this so it's a little easier to understand. We'll be splitting it up among several files. Okay, so um, first thing we can do is we can add a new file. We'll make it a regular file and make a header right you should probably know C++ before you do this and we're going to name this um, enable alright and then click all and then finish you should probably know what I'm doing right now I mean that's just my um, recommendation we're going to add a new file C++ finish all um, enable, and it's going to be a CPP file. Finish. We go to main, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to split this main up so that's mo so much easier to um understand. It's going to take this void, enable OpenGL. Going to copy, paste, or cut. We're going to pull part here. Going to paste here. We're going to um. And again, I already told you, if you aren't using the Windows operating system, I can't help you here. You're going to have to research this on your own. Windows.h and include um, gl slash gl.h. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, back. So we have that. Okay, we're going to uh, basically copy this method when put in our um, header. Right? Control C paste and in here let's just include our um, windows.h and our um, include gl slash gl.h our open gl file so we have that and you'll see that it calls um, enable open gl by itself so we can get rid of this and then we can include the file we made called enable.eh so um, 
include um, enable.h boom done and then run it and we'll just see the type of stuff that um, the console already has for us so you can see we have a simple OpenGL sample we be, will be working with this we'll be modifying it okay hold on <laughs> anyways so um, we're going to be modifying this and then um, we'll get to that later more OpenGL stuff and so now we have that let's make some more stuff we we'll make a um, file we we'll name it um, draw all right, we're going to name it um, draw handler actually. So we're going to name it draw handler finish, and we're going to make another header header called um, file header. So we're going to name this um, draw save all finish. And what the draw handler is going to do? We can get it enabled. We won't be working with that for a while. So you can see right now, or maybe you can't see, it says OpenGL animation code goes here. This is the OpenGL animation code. So what we can do is we can copy and paste, or you know, take it and put it in draw handler, and we'll put it in there, and then we'll just um, do void draw handle, and this will probably make. We're doing um, mostly like back end stuff right now. We'll learn more OpenGL a little later. Okay. And so you have that. And then let's do um, GL. Oh, here's one more thing. It's having a float or an int. OpenGL has its own primitives, primitive type. So we'll be using that. We'll be using GL float. So we'll be have a theta. Or actually, you know what? No, ignore that for now. In fact, yeah, get rid of any mentions of theta right now. And theta, you can get rid of that. You can even get rid of sl uh, sleep. Everything else, keep that though. And then um, draw. We're going to have void draw uh, handle. And then we'll go back to main and we'll do our draw handle. And oh. Okay, and then in here we'll have to include our draw dot h. All right, and we'll get rid of theta. All right, and we'll run it, and it'll say okay, you know, giving us an error. That's because we forgot our um, Windows dot h and our gl slash gl.h all right and then now it won't give us an error and it will still give us an error okay um let's just see what type of error it is so um it will, okay hold on hdc was not declaring the scope oh okay so um f what we forgot to do is we have to declare hdc so we're going to make a hdc object and this is mostly back end stuff this isn't we're going to be learning OpenGL. Like this isn't nothing yet. So, um, so we'll just pass an HDC object, which is declared somewhere up here. I don't. I know I'm probably rushing this. I just don't have enough time to explain this all right now. You should probably know what's going on. Again, you should be familiar with your. And then you see a static triangle. That is your first tutorial. Next tutorial will be just going over some more stuff like this. It's going to be like this for a while until we finish making our basic stuff. Till then, see you later.